tonight, when I looked under the bed for my monster, I found this note instead. Gone fishing, back in a week, game. What was I going to do? I needed a monster under my bed. How was I going to sleep if my monster was gone? I tried to sleep, but it wasn't the same without Gabe. I missed his ragged breathing. His nose whistling. The scrambling of his uncut claws. How would I ever get to sleep without Gabe's familiar scary noises and his spooky green No use. Gabe would be gone for a week, and I just had to have a monster. I climbed quickly out of my bed so my parents wouldn't hear me. And I knocked on the floor, and then I jumped back into bed, and I thought, would any monster appear? What would he look like? Would his snorting sound like Gabe? When I heard some creaking under my bed, I knew that the substitute monster had arrived. Good evening. My name is Bernard. I will be your monster for the evening. Herbert? What kind of name is that for a monster? You don't sound scary at all. Have you ever scared a kid before? Do you have long teeth and scratchy claws? No, but I have an overbite and I'm a mouth breather. Listen. <sighs> Herbert's panting was kind of scary, but it wasn't enough for me. Listen, Herbert, I'm sorry. I just don't think this is going to work. It's nothing personal, but I really need a monster with claws. There was some more creaking, but Herbert was gone. Some scratching warned me that a second monster had appeared. Boys and girl monsters are for girls. Everybody knows 
that. Well, aren't you a big one? Was I being too picky? No. I knew that my monster needed to be well clawed and menacing. The whole point of having a monster was to keep me in bed. Imagine all the scary stuff that could happen if I got out. Then I heard a shuffling noise and some slobbering. A fourth monster was under my bed. Yo, the name's Mac. <laughs> One look at his claws proved that Mac was a big, scruffy boy monster. I shivered. Maybe this would work out. Those are excellent claws. But do you have a long tail? No. My tail's stumpy, but I do have an unusually, unusually long tongue. Oh boy, would that be afraid of a long tongue? Oh, I don't know. You never know when I might live you. <laughs> I back on the bed laughing. Well, if you're not, oh, let's you. Well, if you're not even going to try to work with me, I really don't think you should send me away. Kids who reject monsters, five monsters in one night. I did not reject five monsters tonight. My regular monster went fishing. Fishing, yeah. Maybe he just left because you're so picky. Fine, I'm out of here. But I wouldn't expect another monster tonight if I were you. How was I ever going to get to sleep without my monster? I was surprised to hear more creaking under the bed. Loud creaking was scratching. I, I thought no more monsters were going to appear tonight. Sorry, I'm late, kid. Whew. It was Gabe. I thought I would enjoy the fishing, but I didn't. Those fish scare too easy. No challenge at all. You are the wrong challenging, my friend. You are almost too old to be a friend, monsters. You keep me on my toes. Ah, toes. A delicious snack. The bed quivered as Gabe's stomach rumbled. Now if you... No. Now if you don't mind, I'd like to start the evening off with an ominous Oh. I peeked over the edge of the bed. Green news spread soundlessly from underneath. Then the bed trembled as Gabe unfurled his spike tail. He was daring me to guess where he was going to pop out. I shivered. <laughs> so you had some substitute monsters tonight. Were you scared? And Gabe started tapping. I could tell he wanted to know if I still needed him. No other monster can scare me like you. Through the blanket, I heard Gabe's soft, comforting snorts. <laughs> I knew that kid needed me. We were made for each other. When my blanket started to slip off the bed, I knew Gabe was ready to eat. Now, Kitty, if you please stick out your foot. I like to nibble on your kinky. I yanked my blanket back up and scratched my feet and so Gabe couldn't get them. No toes tonight, but you can have this. I offered him my pillow. <laughs> oh, Gabe was back. The ooze was perfect. Everything was back to normal. I shivered again. I'd be asleep in no time. Run!